Hi and welcome to Diving Head First. This week I'm going to show you how to make a flying key from Harry Potter. You could use this as a decoration to go with your floating candles that I showed you how to make last week or you can use it, just make it and have it as part of your Harry Potter collection. Uh, it's really simple to make so let's get started. The supplies you'll need for this video are decorative key I got this one from the like dollar bin section at Michael's. A wire cutter, wire, Mod Podge, tissue paper, paint brushes. Optional additions is liquid gilding and scissors. To start off, make one loop around your key with the wire. Once you made your first loop, you can start shaping your a wing off to one side. Once you've got the right shape for your first wing, loop your wire around the key one time and then go into your second wing. Once you got the shape of your second wing, make one last loop around the key with your wire and then cut the wire. Wrap any extra wire around the key. Make any final adjustments to the shape of your wings to make sure that they're just the way you want them. Now you're going to take your Mod Podge, a brush, and your tissue paper. Rip up the tissue paper into small pieces that you'll be using to cover the wings. Start out by applying a layer of Mod Podge on the wire of your wings. Make sure they are very well coated. Mm -hmm. 
Now that your wings are coated with the Mod Podge, take your tissue paper and place it on the Mod Podge and then use your paintbrush with more Mod Podge to start brushing it together and folding it around the shape of your wing. And just keep on using Mod Podge to glue the tissue paper together and to help shape it to the shape of your wing. Depending on the size of the pieces that you ripped, you may need to use more than one per wing. to repeat the same process on to the other way.
Now that you have both weddings completed, let it sit and dry. Now this is an extra step that I decided to do, but you don't need to. You can leave your wings white or whatever color you decided to use of tissue paper. But I had liquid gilding, so I decided to add that as an extra detail to my wings. Just make sure you shake it before you start painting, because it does separate. Oops. That's better. I did my wings kind of streaky because I kind of wanted like a dry brush kind of look to it. But that is completely up to you how you want to paint your wings. I hope you liked this video and if you did please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please hit subscribe I try and post every Wednesday and if you have any suggestions for any more videos like this please let me know in the comments see you guys later bye